Staying warm by the screen side. Screen side. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome. So, uh, welcome to Space Quest 3. It is the third of the Space Quests. Yes. Out of all of the Space Quests there ever were, this one is the third. Indeed. Now, I'm really looking forward to this one because uh, this is the third Space Quest. And that means it's the third. Yes, the Pirates of Pestulon. Hmm. Are they going to be doing any kind of operas or anything like that? Uh, no, no. No but... modern major <coughs> admiral? I'm afraid not. <coughs> Excuse me, something mm. went down the wrong tube there. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, as you can tell, they've... Uh... That went up the right tube. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, they have actually uh, upgraded the engine, so we've got Ooh. much better graphics. Um, An intermediate amount of time since Roger Wilco rocketed away from Vols burning space fortress. Time stands still for our hero in suspended animation. Its engines long spent. The small escape spot drifts aimlessly through unfamiliar star fields. Its course altered many times by small asteroids and space debris. Inside, Roger lies undisturbed in his sleep chamber. But not for long. Dum dum dum. So yeah, we actually have an intro cutscene finally. Ooh. Yeah, this is a nice upgrade from the last couple. Yeah. Oh, snaps. Something happened. Yep. It's been Xeroxed. Uh-huh. Scanned. Ooh. To our long-range sensors. <coughs> Indeed. One life form, Captain. It appears to be in suspended animation. Well, it it's a robot, so... Boop, boop. The suspended animation, boop boop. Indeed. Wait. Oh yeah. And and th th this music is actually quite dramatic. I mean. <laughs> yep. <coughs> it's the what is it by now? Sixteen bit, sixteen bit like operatic thing. <laughs> this is technically sixteen. Yeah. The pod, considered to be nothing more than another piece of scrap, is taken aboard by robot commanded garbage freighter. Unfortunately, these robots have no regard for organics. Oh, what is this crap cluttering up all of our important robotics? Mm-hmm. Such Basically. useless organs. Tap, tap, tap. Hello? There we go. The small pod is jarred by a sudden shock, which triggers the sleep chamber's revive mode. <laughs> As the glass shroud slides back, Roger slowly begins to regain consciousness. Okay. Slowly. How slowly are they talking here? That, with his eyes closed like that, it looked like his eyelids or eye sockets were empty. Mm-hmm. Where, where am I? Why do thought bubbles come out of my eye? Indeed. Though, interestingly enough, there's actually, if you install a, a, a weird driver, you, he actually says the line. Ooh. It's the only line that they speak in the entire game. And <laughs> the it, only line. But you, you have to basically take an, a weird driver. It's a nice half-inch script. Mm -hmm. Using really, really big lettering. Do, 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 do. Woohoo! Ah. You notice that the sounds from the pod grow softer until they're imperceptible. Having served its purpose and taxed its resources, the pod gives a final hum and shuts down. It gave its life for you. Woohoo! Nice. All right, so let's get, uh, let, let, let's uh, take a look around here. Okay. Uh, I'm also boosting the speed just a tad. Yay. <clears throat> oh no, Acme rocket. No yep. wonder it crashed. And, and there's a TIE fighter here. <laughs> Um, and the Jupiter, too. Huh. <laughs> they just collect anything, don't they? Basically, including Oops, copyright missed. infringements. Right. So, I wonder what'll happen. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> uh, we're being treated like trash. Uh-oh. I ain't no white trash. Duh. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! So let's stand, and the nice part about this one is it pauses the game when you type shit in. Nice. Which is very nice. Uh, 
compared to the previous you entries. didn't type hang on so we're on this weird bar that's elevated ab- above the bar bar uh it might Throw be back to space quest one yeah yeah the bar tavern indeed <clears throat> He's tight walking right across over here. Do do do. Okay. Oh, and it's Johnny Five from the Short Circuit. Who? Uh, remember the movie Short Circuit? Don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, it, it's it's a great '80s sci-fi thing, and it's got a robot and everything, and it looks very similar to the one back there. Okay. Um, but we need to get out of here because the robot will, robot robot hey. will try and kill us uh, if we're not careful. And we're back there. But we have come to a nice soft landing in a pile of debris. So let's go. Oh, rats. If that's that Acme rocket, then we're exactly where we started. Uh, not quite. It, it, we're nearby, though. Um, so let's take a look around. We are in a debris enclosed hollow. And let's see some lamps. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the wire. Okay. Um, ah, there's a hole to the left. Ooh. So. Look in hole. <laughs> Jump in. Aha, there's a tiny reactor. So let's uh, get reactor. Quaid, start the reactor. Basically. And, oop, oh, power's no. dead. Now I can't see anything. So let's go ahead and Except get out I of here. Except I can see all of this Climb stuff. out. Aha. So we're, we're back now here we're by back. the TIE fighter, yeah. So let's go ahead and do some more exploring. I wonder what's over here. Yeah. And I wonder what's over here. Uh-huh. Ooh, Ooh a, a skeleton. And a weird looking skeleton, yes. Yeah. What? Oh, uh, God. Uh, they look like a rat. Yeah, that, I think that's what it was. And we're getting in a big fight with it, and it took our stuff. We were just mugged. Uh, we're oh, less- you dirty rat. You stole my stuff. <laughs> uh, it took the reactor. Oh. So all we've got from the previous game is the, the gem. Right. The, the, the one that, that helped us get through that, that tunnel system and all. So uh, they're really banking that you played the last game. It doesn't look like 3 is a good place to just start. Um, I mean, they fill you in with enough of why you're there, but that's about it. I mean... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they do kind of expect you to have played the others. So, um, I took some wire as well while Yay. I was there. Um, and I'm, I need to go back and get that reactor, because... From the rat? E- yep. So, let's... Uh, he just beat you up. I'm, I don't know how you're going to be able to get it. Uh, it's basically because us falling, uh, the sound is what attracted them. Huh. So, if we get the, the reactor... Uh, now, with them not watching, they'll leave us alone. Okay. And he wasn't carrying it. He just took it back and hooked it up again. Yep. That's a useful rat. Yeah, I know. Super Can we smart. befriend him and get him to come along with us? Um, no, he's I, tougher I don't, than we are. I, I don't want an escort quest, though. No, he's that, tougher that, than we are. If anything, he would be escorting us. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I've never been able to do that, so... Nah. Probably not. Me and my rat friend, saving the universe. So, let's continue to go through this tube now that we've got the reactor. Going through the tube. Gonna get mugged by another rat. Totally tubular. Dude. Uh Hey, it's Optimus Prime. (laughs) Yep, it's a giant uh, robot. Let's go ahead and climb on in (laughs) and take a look-see. Oh. And Certainly more out than meets mouth. the eye. Yeah. So what's down here? Aha. Uh-huh. There's a large bit. ship and a small one. Um, All right. Let's uh, look large ship. Uh, always going for the large ones first, huh, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Ooh, it's called the Aluminum, Aluminum Mallard. Mallard. Obviously a parody of Millennium Falcon. Oh. I was going to go with the Steel Goose, but that oh, works also. That, I think it's both, actually. Steel Goose? What's the Steel Goose? What do you mean? Isn't that some, from something? No. Oh, well, then never mind. <laughs> uh, 
I thought it was from something. Nope. At least, nothing that I know of. Okay. Never heard of a steel goose before. Gotcha. Unless it's actually a goose made of steel. So, we're in the ship. Um, let's take a look at this pa this screen here. It's nice and blank. Oh. Using power below 10%. No ox reactor. Okay. Hmm. So, let's if go ahead. We had some sort of reactor. Yeah. Put the reactor in the hole. Yeah. Drop the reactor in the Oink. hole, but... One of the wires is much too short. Oh, well, so, uh, nothing we can do. I know. So I'll put the wire that I got in. Ooh. Um, uh, it's sealed. And let's look at the screen again. Aha, there nice, we go. Nice, nice. Systems check in progress. Auxiliary reactor is nice. nominal. Good, good. Good, good. I mean, nominal, nominal. Landing, Landing gear. gear is nominal. Nominal, nominal. Nom nom nominal. Warp motivator. Nommy, nommy, nom nom. Malfunction. N not installed. Okay. Warp motivator. So it needs to motivate the warps. Yep. All right, warps. We've come this far and worked so hard we can't afford to stop now. This is what it's all been about. This is going to be your big moment, Warp. So, <laughs> come on. Come through, not just for everybody else, but for you, yourself. For... Everybody's counting on you. Get up. Get to it. We believe in you. Go warp. Good motivation speaking, Dan. Thank you. Why don't we continue the, uh, your, your motivation uh, next time on All screen right. side? Let's see how well it works. Okay. Bye. Later.